What up, YouTube Moose coming at you once again with another unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at an AMT 1957 Chevy Bel Air in 125th scale. Let's get started. Alright, so like I said, this is the AMT 1957 Chevy Bel Air in 125th scale. Um, we all know how AMT can be, so this will probably be interesting, but I haven't done any really like classic, classic cars like that. That Hobby Lobby seen this, and I was like, you know what, let's give it a go. So um, here they tell you a little bit about the model. Uh, it's got a Chevy 283, removable hood, detailed chassis, accurate interior, colorful decals. Um, a lot of chrome, that'll be fun. Just the same. Side view of the car over here. And all there. So let's get the box off. Top, we got the instructions, and I already opened it. I wanted to take a look, so everything's out of bags, scraping against each other. I'm naughty. But we will take a look at the instructions. So. All right, so taking a look at the instructions here from AMT, they're typical for their style. So here, step one, we're building up the engine, um, two engine block halves, oil paint going on, you got your manifolds, your heads, your uh, valve covers, the air cleaner, carburetor, and such like that, the water hose. They show it only in this step, so you know where it's going later, but you attach it later, as well as like your front things, and they give you your colors. Um, it's a stock 283, as it says. Then we go into the interior in step two, building up the pan with the uh, seats, the bucket, or not the bucket, um, bench seat. So it's two part, and then the safety belts fit to that, as well as like the steering wheel, the steering column, the instrument panel going on there. <coughs> Excuse me, very vague on the detail on the instrument panel, so I'll have to do some research on that, and then including colors, they don't tell you anything. Uh, step three, then we put the wheels together. So there's an inner wheel, outer wheel, and then the hubcaps and a vinyl tire. Step four, then we go to the chassis itself. So the one piece construction, um, they show you there's metal axle, two metal axles for it. Um, rear pans going on, shock absorbers, your suspension, you know, the typical things you expect out of a car model, the front suspension unit. Um, apparently you're given the option on where to place the metal axle to give the car a lowered or raised stance, depending on what you want. Uh, I'll have to see how that go is when I get to that point. And then they show you where the engine itself sits for the contact points, which is kind of nice. Then we go to the body. Um, the windows fit in. The interior fits to that. Uh, mirror in there. The hood, they say, do not cement. So chances are I'll probably start off here with the body anyways, paint that up and get all the chrome and everything like that done and before I even start on the, everything else. And in step six, then they show you where to put the battery, some the master cylinder, the horns, the radiator lines, and everything like that. How to put the rear bumper on, the tail lights, fitting the body itself to the chassis, bumpers, headlights, so on and so forth. So not a whole heck of a lot to it. And on the back, they show you the sprue layout. You know, typical for AMT anyways. So I'm not gonna get it out of the bag because I don't want to scratch it up, but the first we have the windshield. I mean, there's not much to say there. Typical for AMT, they're clear. They look like they should be. We have some red lenses here for the brake lights and then like the headlight lenses and stuff here. First brew that I pulled out is chrome. Um, I, of course, don't like their chrome, so I will end up stripping it. Um, I could actually need recommendations for what you guys use to strip it. I've heard oven cleaner, but I've always been scared to try it. So anyways, we can see the front grill here, the rear bumper, the headlights. Um, 
I've only got three. Oh, there's four hubcaps. The hubcaps. All right, sorry about that. The SD card became full. So next up we have the two metal axles in a bag. I'll leave them in there so they're not making a mess of anything. Um, this is why I hate older AMT. So here, this sprue here, we have the engine, the seat belts down here, um, cylinder heads, looks like battery, the horns, air scrubber, oil pan, etc. Everything looks pretty good, but as usual, I mean, there's a lot of flash. You can see it on the seat belt, especially, and even over here with the exhaust manifolds, even the horns. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of sanding out of the steering wheel. The next sprue, what's left on it, you know, because everything's come off, we've got the rear, the trunk. No, excuse me, that's the actual hood. That's the hood. And the back of the seat, as well as the accessory drive and the distributor here. Um, detail actually looks pretty good. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. And the next sprue has the dashboard and the outer part of the wheels. Um, the plastic looks kind of warped, so hopefully the wheels themselves aren't. Definitely gonna take a lot of cleanup again. I see all kinds of injector pin marks and such like that. Um, the bench seat came off one of those sprues. Again, it looks good. It got a lot of great texture in there, so that'll pick up some detail nice. Another tiny little fragment of a sprue. It's got like the shock absorbers. I'm not even sure what the other part of that is. The inner part of the wheels on its own little tiny sprue. And the last thing that's still attached here, we have the intake manifold where the carburetor would sit. It came off again from somewhere else. Um, so we have the rubber wheels, the vinyl wheels, whatever. They've got pretty good detail. I don't see like a seam line that'll have to be sanded. Um, you know, just real generic blobs for lack of a better term. But they'll, they'll do nicely. And then finally we have, it's in three parts. So here we have the interior tub. Again, a lot of texture, the back seat built in, the sides and everything like that. Huge nubs where the bench seat will plug in. So hopefully it doesn't be vis too visible. You can see the pedals up there as well as where the steering column will fit. If you've seen any of that, I might've obstructed it. So that'll pick up some good detail. Then we got the chassis itself. Obviously this side's not very detailed because this is the side that matters at the end of the day. I will be sanding that out. I hate that they do that. Um, I understand it's licensed even over there, but come on, don't do that. Like just put it on the box. This might be a little bit fun to clean up anyways. Right here we can see there's like where they broke it off the sprue, kind of mess with the detail on the edges. So as you can see, the actual mufflers are molded in. So it just comes down from the engine and meets up right here. And then everything there is molded in, gas tank and all that stuff. It's a pretty chunky piece of plastic. Um, here you can also see what I was talking about with the instructions. So you can either have the metal axle sit there or there. And I'm assuming it'll stay in place either way, depending on you know what's how everything there fits. And then the most important part is the body of the car. So. Um, looks pretty good. Um, kind of disappointing that the trunk is molded shut. You know, it's not separate, but whatever. I mean, how much detail is in there? So good panel lines here, nice and raised. That'll take painting really well. Here we can see there's like a nick in the plastic. I don't know if you can catch, see that. So have to sand that up. And then the firewall and everything like that is, of course, molded in, including the radiator and whatnot. Um, I don't think it'd be too big of a deal. And the last thing in the box is the sheet of decals. 
and I don't know that I'm gonna use anything on here. So the 157, class of 57, I mean, I guess I might use the plates. There are a little, few little decorations, maybe. But like these here for the, um, like the, the wings back here, absolutely will not use. I'm just gonna use chrome. I do believe I have a bare metal foil and I might try using bare metal foil for the first time ever and do this instead of that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Have a good one.